An emergency has been declared in sections of the corporate area in Jamaica. A fire at the city landfill has blanketed the sections of the corporate area with smog affecting schools, residents and business. Les Dan Sherwood tells us more of smoke is covering Kingston and St. Andrew and even as far as St. Catherine. The cause, another fire at the Riverton City landfill. The fire has been blazing for three days and efforts are on in earnest to control the blaze. It was a ghost town that met our news team when we ventured to the Riverton community on Friday. The only sign of activity, trucks passing back and forth rapidly. The trucks formed part of the containment and control efforts by the protective services to quell the blaze at the dump. Jamaica Fire Brigade Assistant Commissioner for the parishes of Kingston and St. Andrew, Al Hacker, explained the scope of the blaze and what efforts were being made to tamp it down. Well, majority of the fire is coming from two locations, although we have several other spot areas that need to be dealt with. Right now, we're concentrating all our effort towards the area where majority of the smoke is coming from to see if we can control that as much as we can so we can move forward with the operation. The smog was so far-reaching that surrounding communities seemed almost uninhabited. All schools in the corporate area were ordered closed by the Education Ministry. But with the smoke only seeming to thicken, when will the skies clear? Fireman Hacker could give no definite timeline. It all depends on the availability of resource because right now we have two tractors and we need them heavily to help control the blaze because once we put them down, put down the blaze, if we don't have those tractors to put the backfill on it, we'll have reignition taking place. So I know RPM and NSWMA are putting a lot of effort into getting us extra tractors to assist in that effort. Leslie and Sherwood for Scene Caribbean News. Thanks, Leslie. Meanwhile, an emergency press conference was called at Jamaica House on Friday. Executive Director of the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, Jennifer Edwards, explained the agency's cleanup efforts. We now have on-site operating two D-9s that are being seeking these services of D-10s and additional D-9s, and we will continue to do so. We have certified trucks that are um, carting material to the disposal site to assist in extinguishing the blaze. The blaze. Um, you would be aware that in the instance of landfill fires, dirt is the most effective um, material to be used to put out the fire. And so we have been carting material to the site. We have uh, a full team of persons that have working at the disposal site with the fire department has been mentioned. They are the ones primarily responsible for extinguishing the fire and we are giving all the support that we can in terms of both personnel and the resources that are presently and we are seeking to have made available for the extinguishing. Ministry of Health Representative Dr. Sonia Copeland admitted that there has been an increase in respiratory illness victims, but says the ministry has put new measures in place. With respect to the hospitals responding to increased demands for um, care as a result of respiratory difficulties, we have had reports that the Spanish Town Hospital and the Children's Hospital have been seeing increased numbers of patients. You may be aware that mainly children from the Portmore area and those areas um, along the belt that is affected at this time have been um, uh, accessing care as well, not just in the public sector but also in the private sector. Minister Ferguson has instructed that all um, health centers who offer extended care or extended hours be open on Saturday and Sunday um, for, for this weekend. And uh, we are monitoring the situation closely so that those hospitals that I just mentioned, if they need additional... The smoke has reportedly brought hundreds of health centers and hospitals in and around the corporate area. However, the air quality impact findings won't be ready until Saturday.